morning, good evening, good afternoon, or whenever you're watching this. You know who I am by now. I'm the DOUG here for week 9 picks. Now last week, I had 9 wins, 5 losses, that's not bad. And for the season, I'm doing a whole fucking lot good. Over 70 wins, which ain't damn bad. Still under 50 for losses, which is pretty good right now, I gotta say. Now, as you guys can tell, I'm not feeling 100%. I am a little bit under the weather, so to speak. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. You get sick sometimes, and you deal with it. But I'm going to do my best and give you my pick, so please enjoy. Game 1, which is Thursday night, you got the Kansas City Ch uh, uh, Chiefs at home. Take it on, uh, I mean, excuse me, on the road. See, this is what's wrong. When I don't feel good, I can't think. Uh, take it on the San Diego Chargers. Um, I'm taking the Chargers in this one. <sighs> they got to win this one, right? Right? I mean, Bounds, I know they won this past week, but I didn't think the Browns would be... <laughs> Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? This making me this worried about a game. You know, so hopefully. Hopefully. San Diego wins. Oh, I'm in trouble. Period on that note, folks. By the way, it is 70 wins and 48 and losses. By the way, just wanted to can just wanted to give you that. Uh so yeah, I got the Chargers winning Thursday. Uh, next game, Packers versus Cardinals. I got the Green Bay Packers. Cardinals right now looking like to be a joke after they started out so well. But hey, does that surprise anybody? Uh, Green Bay. If you saw how sent, uh, excuse me, how the Cardinals played on Monday against the Niners, you have an easy game. So Packers, this would be a time to shine and catch up to the Bears. All right. Packers win. Next, Lions versus Jaguars. I'm taking the Detroit Lions. Jaguars, to me, are a joke right now. They don't look like a pro team. They look more look like a division baby college team, okay? They look like the University of uh, Springfield, okay? That's how bad they're playing. Lions win easily. Next, Bears versus Titans. I'm taking the Chicago Bears again this week. Tynans, I don't, you know, maybe they could pull off the upset, but I don't see it with that great Bears defense who we just saw, you know, the Bears defense get a win over a bad Carolina team, in my humble opinion. Uh, Bears should win this. You know, I don't like the offense, but the defense shows you why your defense can win you more games. Uh, next, Broncos versus Bengals. I got the Broncos. Bengals are a joke to me. Moving on. Redskins versus Carolina. Mm, excuse me. Uh, I got the Redskins. Panthers, like I've been saying, Panthers don't look like a team to me. They got too many problems. The coach is a. The coach ain't handling his business, trying to keep you know keep Cam Newton under control. You got Cam Newton who wants to pass the buck on everybody, and you had the ownership being retarded. Redskins win easily. Uh, Ravens versus Browns. Uh, I got the Ravens winning this one. They come off a bye. Hopefully their defense fix whatever problems they needed to since they don't have Lewis for the rest since they won't have Lewis. Hopefully they fix that or else they will not be making the playoffs. Uh, but this is the a game against the Browns. So you know, yeah, the Browns did beat San Diego this past week. I don't think the Ra that's gonna happen to the Ravens. Ravens win. Uh next, Dolphins versus Colts, two of the surprising teams right now because both are playing pretty well. So I have to eat my words on that one. Um, I'm going to take the Dolphins on this one. Anybody who saw what they did to the Jets, yeah. Dolphins could be a dark horse in the AFC. We'll have to, we'll have to see what happens. But I'm taking Miami. They, show, they, they played very well against the Jets. You know, Colts, yeah, they did win too, but it was an OT. I don't know how many times you can do that and win successfully. Um, so Dolphins over Colts. 
Uh, number nine, Texans versus the Buffalo Bills. This is an easy one. Take the Houston Texans, guys. Bills, to me right now, are another team who, yeah, you know, they got a few wins. I think all their wins are lucky. No more, no less. Texans win easily. Next, Vikings versus Seahawks. I'm taking the Vikings. You know, Seahawks, you disappointed me this past week. You pretty much ruined my at least Sunday afternoon, uh, the early game Sunday of going perfection. Thanks a lot. Uh, Vikings, you know, this should be somewhat of an easy game. You are the better team on paper. So, act like you should and be the better team. Next, Buccaneers versus Raiders. Oh, boy. Talk about a game I don't want to pick. Uh, I'm taking Tampa. Now... They beat the Vikings. I have to base this one on who they've beat. Raiders beat a bad Chiefs team. Buccaneers beat a good Vikings team. I'm taking the Buccaneers to win. Uh, Steelers versus Giants. I'm taking Pittsburgh, okay? Now, I know everyone's like, oh, Doug, no, you're doing that because Giants beat the Cowboys this past week. No, 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 no. Even before that game, I was thinking about Pitt. But I'm, and I'm... And seeing that game, it made me guarantee I'm taking Pittsburgh. Here's why. The Giants' offense did nothing Sunday. Let's get that straight. They did nothing. When it, counting the, if you take the interceptions and fump, you know, the turnovers away, what did the, what really did the Giants do offensively? Defensively, hey, they did good. But offensively, they couldn't do anything. And, you know, and Steelers, let's be honest, Steelers will bite on that. So I am taking Pittsburgh. We just saw what they did to Washington. Giants could be next. And if you're a Cowboys, Eagles, or Skins fan, you want the Steelers to win this one. Uh, speaking of Cowboys, Cowboys versus Atlanta, you know me by now. If you've seen these videos before or if you're watching this through Facebook, you know I'm taking my Cowboys. It's my team. I'm taking the Dallas Cowboys over Atlanta. Now, Atlanta's undefeated. So this could be a trap game. I know a lot of Falcons fans may not want to admit this, but at some point you got to lose. Maybe the Cowboys get the shot. Maybe. Eagles couldn't do anything. And, you know, if I'm, if I'm a Dallas player, I'd be pissed off right now. You lost the game to the Giants that you should have won at home. You use that anger, use that anger passion you have, and you use it this Sunday night against the Falcons. You use that anger, you use that build-up frustration, and do it the right way and beat Atlanta. All right. Now, as far as for Monday night, Eagles versus Saints. Oh dear, God in heaven. This is another game I didn't want to pick. You got the Eagles who are playing like crap. The defense is a joke. Vic looks like he's a chicken with his head cut off. Saints, you know, you got Drew Boobs. Your defense can't do anything either. So, you know, this was a coin flip. And I took the Eagles only because of the fact of maybe the defense is a little better. But that ain't saying much. This one, the, the Monday night game is a shot in the dark to who you, to, depending on who you pick. Because either one's a bad, each one's a bad team as far as I'm concerned right now. And I don't even know if either team's going to make the playoffs. Originally, I said Eagles were. Eagles and Dallas were going to make it. But right now, Eagles don't. I don't know. I really don't. So just as a recap, I got Chargers, Packers, Lions, Bears, Broncos, Redskins, Ravens, Dolphins, Texans, the Minnesota Vikings, the Buccaneers, Pittsburgh Steelers, the Dallas Cowboys, and the Philadelphia Eagles getting a win this week. Uh... So those are my picks this week. Sorry, I didn't go into much detail, but like I said, I'm not feeling too well. So, enjoy your week. Enjoy your day. I'm going back to get some sleep and try to feel better. Till next time, I'm out.